Good morning! So we woke up early and Anthony is building this shower caddy that is ugly. It's not ugly, it's from Amazon, we might return it. But yesterday he also built these Ikea inserts, so these two were already here. But then we got a few more in the baskets, and we got enough for this side, but we decided that because this is two pieces, a four cube and a four cube, we are actually going to maybe try to sell it and get the exact same eight cube that is there, just so that they match. We also got a new couch, I haven't updated you guys but it's super comfy. Um, we got a really good deal on it and I'm so happy about that. I was thinking about maybe doing a main channel video on like how to find furniture for like good deals, like how to be thrifty because we've been using Letgo and Kijiji for most of the things that we're getting, but you know, you really need to search and you'll find good pieces, like things that are gently used and save a ton of money that way. So I think that could be a really good video topic, but let me know in a comment below. I literally just woke up, so I look crazy, but he's trying to put it in the shower. I got white, because I thought it would match nicely. Currently, the shampoos are on the floor. So we're gonna figure out, probably cut the bottom. I don't know how we're gonna cut it though, but yeah, each shelf is pretty small, but it fits like two things on each one. And then there's a third, so. Yeah. Figure it out. I'll keep you updated if we keep it or just send it back. It's not a bad piece. It was $20, but we just now need to cut that bottom pole. I just took a shower to wake me up. We were going to go to a fitness class because our building has free fitness classes, but um, I couldn't figure out how to register, and then we were like, you know what, let's not waste our energy doing that because we have a lot of cleaning to do around here but I just walked out of the bathroom and it's just so nice and bright like I'm just obsessed with my little home because it's so bright I love it so happy in my home my friends came over the other day Nikki and Alyssa and they brought me a plant for my balcony so this is what the tag says the yucca I need to care for it I think it's a little bit dry right now so I'm going to water it and I also want to get a nice pot for the bottom. We're cleaning our apartment now, so we're gonna get to it! <laughs> Okay, so we've been cleaning for most of the morning. We reorganized where the TV was and we put it on one of these small cubes and then we like reorganized all our bins. The Xbox fits perfectly, so Anthony was thrilled about that. We are selling this cube on Letgo. We already got like five different offers, so <laughs> that'll be gone probably by the end of today. And then I was organizing my clothes into the cubes here. We still have our bedding up here because we flipped the air mattress over because the floors are really dusty and need to be cleaned. So we're gonna do that, but that's the last thing that needs to happen. And Anthony is currently making us brunch. We got some pancakes, the bacon is done. We got one of these cool flat pans. So that's really awesome, we love it. I just ran downstairs and got bananas and I had to get canola oil for the pancakes because we didn't have it yet. So we tried to get as many like basics, like kitchen basics as possible, but sometimes you like forget things. So we didn't have oil, but there's a grocery store right downstairs. So we just ran down or I just ran down and got that. And yeah, things are coming along. Anthony's family's coming over for dinner. His parents haven't been here yet. So they're coming to visit. And yeah, we're just getting things cleaned up. And then I'm gonna be editing my Peru videos today because it has been a very long time since I have been to Peru and back. So I need to finally get those going. It's just been a lot with work and 
uh, with moving, but I'm excited for you guys to see them. And I'm excited to like keep posting my vlogs. <laughs> Brunch is served. We got a giant pancake and some bacon, some strawberry Nutella for on top, and we got some maple syrup going. Thank you. We're done cleaning. We rearranged the furniture. Anthony's request to have the couch in the middle. What do you think? The table over there and the couch in the middle. I guess it's more practical, but I like the table in the middle. But this place is spotless. We cleaned everything. <laughs> Much better. I love this couch. Best purchase ever. I even vacuumed the couch. <laughs> So I just got home from work and I did a grocery shop on my way in, but look what came in the mail today. My mattress from helixsleep.com. So I'm gonna wait until Anthony gets home until I unbox it because I may require assistance. <laughs> I'm so excited. No longer I have to sleep on this air mattress, although it was getting quite comfy. This duvet cover is actually my brother's old one, my mom brought it to me yesterday when she was visiting. And those are the new pillows and the drapes all put together. So yeah, I'm so excited! What's so special about this mattress is not only does it come in a box and it was super easy for me to bring upstairs, but um, you take a sleep quiz online and they customize it to your sleep preferences. So I know that this mattress is going to be perfect for me and I am just so excited to sleep on it for the first time. All right, since I just got home from the grocery store, I will do a little quick haul. So I got some baby carrots, some nonstick cooking spray, some baby cherry tomatoes, some hummus, summer fresh, it was on sale by one, uh, or if you buy two or more, then they were $2.99 or something like that. I got some whole wheat crackers to go with that. I got dried oregano because I'm making a quinoa salad, so that's what most of these ingredients are for, as well as just some other snack food. So some dried oregano. And I got a red bell pepper. I normally bring down my reusable grocery bags, but we use these bags for the garbage and we were running low, so I didn't bring them this time. But we recycle them for the garbage, so at least I feel like a little bit better about that. Then I got some more Triscuit crackers. The roasted tomato and olive oil are my favorite ones to go with the hummus. And then, oh, this one that, the, that I showed was the roasted red pepper. This one is original hummus. Then I got some chicken broth that I will need to make the quinoa. Then I got some black olive, a red onion, a cucumber, some feta cheese, and some balsamic vinegar. Most of this stuff is like compliments brand because I was shopping on sale. And that came to $36. So groceries in Canada are expensive. No. Hi, Mom. Hey. So I'm making this quinoa here. You said the package says one cup of quinoa to two cups of water or broth. I brought, I bought chicken broth. Is that correct, or you were telling me something before? Yeah, two to one ratio. Yeah. So one cup of quinoa, two cups of broth. Okay. I will try it out. Do you have lime? Do I have lemon. Like okay, thank you. Sometimes you just gotta call mom to confirm a recipe. <laughs> It's nice and fluffy. I tasted it, it tastes great. So the quinoa is done. I was eating some leftover pasta that I had in the fridge for dinner because I was just starving and it's hard for me to cook when I'm starving. So I was like, you know what? Let me just eat the pasta and then make this in peace and not be grumpy and then I'll eat it for lunch tomorrow, so. So I got my ingredients here that I need to chop. A red pepper, a cucumber, cherry tomatoes, and a red onion. 
and I'm just going to chop them up into this bowl and watch some YouTube while I do that. That is the mixed quinoa salad with all the ingredients. So because I'm not eating it right now, I'm not going to dress it, but the dressing is extra virgin olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, and oregano, and maybe a little bit of lemon juice on top. But because I'm packing it for lunch and storing it, I'm not gonna dress it just yet, but I'm gonna pack it up now. I just finished unboxing my Helix Sleep mattress, and it's so comfy. I just finished filming it for my main channel and I'm so excited to have a real mattress It was so easy. It took me less than 10 minutes and I did it by myself This is why mattress in a box is so amazing and it's perfect I loved that they customized it to me because this is the exact mattress that I would ever ask for It's so comfortable. I think my night is over. I'm just gonna go to sleep <laughs>